We experimentally study the active dynamics of flexible chains of cell propelled colloidal particles. How can we understand the fascinating dynamics of biological fragile, as seen in sperms and algae? To answer these questions, we created artificial fragile composed of cell propelled active colloidal particles and compare their beating behaviors. First, we fabricated genus particles, which are colloidal particles with distinct hemispheres. We suspend the genus particles in NaCl solutions and sandwich them between two transparent two-dimensional electrodes. Due to gravity, the particles were sedimented very close to the bottom electrodes. Then we applied an AC electric field in the vertical direction, and the particles start to swim in the horizontal plane interacting with each other. By tuning the frequency and the amplitude of the applied electric field and the ion concentration of the solution, the particles exhibit dynamical chain structures. How do the particles interact and form such chains? Under the AC electric field with frequency higher than a certain threshold frequency, induced electric charges on the surface of the particles have opposite signs on the two hemispheres due to the difference in the response time of the dielectric and the metal hemispheres. This quadrupolar charge distribution results in attractive interaction between the particles, and this attractive interaction is responsible for the chain formation. Interestingly, we can also control the direction of motion of the genus particles by changing the frequency of the electric field. In the low frequency regime, the particles move towards their dielectric sides. On the other hand, in the high frequency regime, they move towards their metal sides. In previous works, chain formation was only observed in the high frequency regime, but in this work, we have discovered that the chain formation at the low frequency regime is possible by thoroughly exploring the parameter space. Depending on the constraints imposed on their heads, the chains exhibit oscillatory or rotary motions. In particular, when the foremost particles of the chain are both positionally and orientationally fixed, the chains exhibit stable fragile-like beating behavior. We study this in detail. Such beating behavior can be observed when the foremost particles are tethered on the bottom electrode or when they hit obstacles or aggregates of immobile particles. The beating chains exhibit characteristic trajectories in the real space. However, as a matter of fact, the principal component analysis has shown that they can be interpreted as quite simple oscillations between the first and the second principal components. In our system, the cell propulsion speed, or the cell propulsion force, can be controlled by the applied voltage. Taking this advantage, we studied how the beating frequency scales with the cell propulsion force of the composing particles. Our experiment shows that the beating frequency was proportional to the cell propulsion force. However, this scaling relation deviates from theoretical predictions made previously. We have resolved this discrepancy by taking into account the quadrupole-quadrupole interactions of the general particles. However, our measurement gives the indirect but first reliable experimental evidence on the quadrupolar charge distribution of the particles. Finally, we theoretically calculated the flow field around the beating genus chains to examine the role of hydrodynamics in the beating behavior. For more details, please look at the paper. Thank you for watching.